here with Dr. Ralph Wilson, who's released a new study entitled, Listening for God's Voice. Pastor Ralph, what's this new study all about? Well, God can get anyone's attention. Like, uh, with a loud voice and a brilliant light like Saul of Tarsus on the road to Damascus, but normally he prefers to speak in a softer voice. What we need to do as disciples is to learn to listen for and then be able to discern that voice. And uh, when I say voice, I, I'm not talking about audible voice particularly, but strong impressions in your mind and spirit. You think God wants to talk to all Christians? I really do. Because one, we're all God's creation. He cares about us. He loves us. He cares about what's going on in our world. And He has a purpose for our lives. And so, if, he, if we're to be effective, we need to be able to hear what He has to say to us so we can be coordinated in His big plan. Um, it's a learned skill. So it, it takes a little practice to kind of discern what's going on and, and recognize the, God's voice. But I don't think God's talking all the time like a 24-7 radio station or something. Uh, but many times he'll talk to you. Uh, he'll nudge you and encourage you and prompt you. Um, we need to be ready. Tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I've been actively listening for God's voice. I real, recently realized for 50 years and more. And felt like I can share something of my experience. I've been an ordained uh, minister uh, American Baptist churches, also pastored churches since 1967. Uh, I have a Master of Divinity and Doctor of Ministry from Fuller Theological Seminary. And I've been doing these Jesus Walk Bible Study Series studies on the internet since 1996, maybe 40 by this time, and then put those together into books. So they're 40 plus studies and books. How many people sign up for these studies? When I have a new study, uh, three to 4,000 people from maybe 100 countries around the world. I suppose over the years I've taught tens of thousands of people on the internet. What's the significance of this latest study, listening for God's voice? During the American Civil War, if a general wanted to uh, coordinate his troops, he would give a message to a messenger who would ride off to the commander of some battalion or unit who would then try to tell his co company commanders and all this kind of stuff. They'd use bugle calls to coordinate troops. Very clumsy, <laughs> and we lost some battles as a result of it. Uh, everybody today has cell phones, so uh, you're available to your friends. Well, God's technology, and it's been around for thousands of years, is his still small voice. So he can speak to and encourage and comfort and guide and mobilize in his plan his disciples anytime he wants to. The key is to, to learn to discern his voice. I really think it's a game changer for disciples. How can people sign up for this course? Well, go to jesuswalk.com slash voice, put in your name, your country, your email address and push submit, you'll get an email, you click on the confirm link and you're all signed up. These are also available in paperback. Uh, here's the, the latest study, uh, listening for God's voice in PDF paperback and Kindle version. That's all there is to it? Well, there are three things I ask people to do. First of all, make sure you have established a regular daily quiet time, scripture reading, prayer, listening to God. Secondly, find a spiritual partner or buddy with whom you can share, as who will take the course with you, and you can share how it's going and learn from one another and help one another. And then third, if you can, find a mentor, perhaps a pastor or a spiritual man or woman in your church, but make sure it's somebody that actually is listening for God's voice. Well, I'm excited to be part of this study. Well, I'm excited to, to see what God's going to do with it as uh, disciples all over the world learn to discern and then obey God's voice and be mobilized for action in the army of the kingdom of God.